Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is an arrow problem by Wu Chen Lin. Um, and yeah, I was really happy to get the series of problems that uh, were submitted. So link to this one below. Of course, the rules for arrows is digits that are placed on arrows must sum to the digit placed in the arrow circle. Um, this should be an easy one, I'm hoping. Um, so yeah, feel free to give this one a try um, and uh, I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so yeah, this one is probably one of the easiest ones I've done in a week or so. So um, we've got this very long arrow and all of the digits that are placed on that arrow, um, the sum of all of those digits there has to be what goes in the circle. So we can look at minimums of what can go into these. So the minimum we can put into those is one and two. The minimum we can put into here is one. The minimum we can put into here is one and two. The minimum we can put in here is one and the minimum we can put in here is one. If we add all of those together, we've got three Three, four plus three is seven, eight, and nine. And the maximum we can put in here is nine. So we actually have to be playing with minimums. So all of those have to become one. But this two means that those can't be two. So those have to be the ones. These have to be the two. And that is the solution to the problem. Nice and easy one for this one. But when you're playing with long arrows and you're wanting to sort of force arrows into boxes, it can be an interesting trick. Um, we've always played with shorter arrows in combos before rather than one big long one. So yeah, nice one to get. Thank you for sending it through. Um, hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're enjoying the channel and everything that we try and bring to you, mostly me. Um, yeah, thanks everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.